What's up guys? So welcome back to the channel. I am on my way to Cape Town today and um, then I've taken the day off on Friday and I will be joining uh, John and the guys taking a drive through to the Eastern Cape. So very excited. Last time we were there about two, three months ago, um, I was there with Tace and Carl. Uh, this time I'm alone with John and Gary and Danny and those guys and uh, yeah, I'm expecting to have some amazing fun. So uh, I hope you're ready. I'm really excited. Let's go. So of course we're back in the Eastern Cape. I've dug a few holes and uh, nothing special yet. But just dug this hole, got a target and it's pretty nice. Have a look at this. This over here is a Victorian collar. I mean I don't, want, I don't know what they call this but this is a ladies um, like a button um, but for their collar. So the center of their collar. I'll show you a picture. And this is really nice. You can see that's where it fit in. And it had these two uh, clips. I'm guessing, you know, that used to be like spring loaded on the sides. And um, yeah, this is really nice, man. I found one of these before in the past. Um, there by us at home. And it was broken. Um, so yeah, man, this is really special. Um, nothing amazing or to pass out about. But this is super old. Definitely Victorian or older. Um, so happy about that, man. I've dug about six, seven targets, um, all of which have been either junk or, you know, uh, whatever. But uh, yeah, this is super great, man. Love that. Awesome. So I just came over here. I've got Johnny with me. And uh, I dug the signal because we were just about to do a Facebook Live, actually. Dug the signal and I popped out a little button. So I've already had a look at it. Check how awesome is that. It's a nice ladies button. Not a two piece. You can see it still has the shank over there. And a bit of a gold uh, wash. So that's cool man. First button of the day. Right after I found that, uh, that other collar button. So that's awesome. Nice one. Low to mid 80s. So have a look. It's not very loud, but it doesn't necessarily sound like a, a small item. Let's see. Dropped it back into this hole. Yeah, sounds good. 82, 83. Let's see. Hopefully it's something nice. Oh, it's a bullet cartridge. Bullet cartridge. 303. <sighs> Bit mangled. Won't be able to see this head stamp. But it is 303. Good stuff. Mid 70s, low 80. Let's have a look. I just want to clean this up. Sounds good. I don't know. Let's see. So I've hit a little bit of a I think I've hit the patch where there's a few targets now. Just want to see if we can pick up anything good. Let's 
There's something in there. Oh, is that a button? Yeah, it's a button, it's a fall. Here's a four hole button and it looks good, man. All right, let me do a close up. It's got some markings front and back. Nice. Right, guys, here's a close up for you. And uh, yeah, what does it say? It does say something in Suns. It's not Mumford. <laughs> it says Furman and Suns, London. Furman and Sons London. Yeah, it's cool. It looks pretty cool. I think it says the same at the back. Nice little four hole button. Awesome, man. Right, let's find some good stuff. Right, guys, so just dug this hole. That's where I got that four hole button. Maybe I got another signal and uh, threw it out. It was a bit iffy right over there. Now it looks like a button. I'm not sure, but um, let's take a look. Just threw it out. Yeah, it is a button. This looks nice. The shank is flat. Let me just give this a bit of a clean at the back. Shank is there, but it's flat. This side, I just saw something nice. <laughs> Check it out. Nice one. So this crown, is the round crown so immediately I can date it and say to you that this is not Boer War this is post Boer War so yeah probably early 1900s 1914 1918 there but um, not 100% sure but yeah man awesome little button still very old but definitely post Boer War nice one Right guys, it's been a while, um, been dinging all over this little area, check how beautiful this is, let me show you quick. I came right up this hill from this side and I was greeted by that, can you see the ocean, absolutely beautiful, beautiful day. But uh, popped this plug right over here and uh, took the pinpointer and let me, Jesus. So I saw that, right over there some roundness, uh, it's hold again, so I think it might be a dog tag, something, it's quite clean, out of the sand, check it out, um, like, like a beach find, don't see anything, oh there, I can see, see something, um, so hold on, don't think this is a dog tag, I see a line, I think that's Britannia, I think that's Britannia, it looks like there's a date, there we are, if you look at it from that angle, um, it does look Brit like Britannia, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's a young Victoria at the back, check that, I hope you guys can see that, it's a young Victoria, um, and right at the top where the hole is, is where her head is, have a look at this so okay it's a coin um, I just want to see if I can see a date definitely 18 something so that's brilliant man a hold coin obviously broke through at the top looks like 18 18 something 4 or like 18 1864 not 100% sure it's 100% a coin. I thought that was going to be a dog tag or something. Nice one, man. Happy days. First coin. Let's go. Right, guys. Gazzo, Gazza. Check your smart hat, eh? Eh, Gazza? Check us your hat. Show us your hat. Yes, it. What a champion, eh? What you find? Nice ah, big spoon. Big spoon. It makes sense, eh? Because you are a bit of a stir, eh? And, uh... Now some nice, fancy, maybe with like some bed posts. That's with a big clock. Old clock. clocks. Bunch of mystery items and goodish. Is that from a swagger stick, that, guys? 
Hey. Check it out there. There. What? Is that What's from it? a swagger stick? Let's see that. Oh no, it's not. I thought it might have been from a swagger stick. It's also got Where's some your... lighting on that lid. Oh, nice. Okay. Then the bear, uh, button. Oh, there's a nice button, eh? Hold. Take this. Uh, and I think that's about it, buddy. Maybe a butter uh, ring. Oh, there's a nice ring, eh? I've got a small ring. Okay, you take take this stuff. Take this stuff. I want to look at this button. Sorry. Stand like that. And Check at that. Just a buckle and there's a number oh, on that thing nice there button, too. And a little eh? four hole. Nice. Two piece. And you've got a little ring, but that was a bit of a junker, eh? But this is quite nice. Liking this, guys. Very it's nice. a railway one, eh? Yeah, it looks like it. Eh? Say something, railways. Yeah. Very nice, man. I love this. Seen them. This is going to look very nice in my display cabinet. There we are. Laka laka. Well done, I guess. Yeah. Let go. Zob's fist bump. Hey, let me hang. Nice one. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a while. I've uh, had a few finds. Let me have a look at this. There's a nice little thimble. So I think it's a silver wash. You can see that side has some nice patterns. I'm going to give it a brush in a second. But this side looks um, not so much silver. So let me give it a quick clean and uh, show you guys. But definitely has some fancy. So that's cool. Okay, guys. So I was wrong. This is definitely silver. Have a look at that. Have a look at that. Gave it a nice little clean. That's awesome, man. Check out those patterns as well. So this side was looking a bit bleak, but it was just dirty. But um, that's awesome. A little bit of water. It's going to make this thing shine again. Nice. So not in the best condition. But you are. Nice one, Leo. Awesome, man. Thank you. That's Good it, stuff. Silver. Yeah. Right, guys. Going over to John. He says he's got a pendant. What you got? Oh, hey, nice, man. Yeah. Look at that. So you know what that is? No, tell me. So this is what... You used to find these little tokens in um, the chocolate boxes. Oh, really? Yeah, so uh, I found one similar to that. Uh, same shape and all of that. Today? Not today, no. Um, probably about a year ago. All right. So yeah. Really nice. Very, very nice. Oh, good, great find. Awesome, John. Yes, you, man. Under this tree. What did it come in at? Uh, 80s, I think. Is it? Yeah. Well done, man. Okay, thank you. What's up guys? So welcome back. Uh, day number two. Uh, it's going to be a long day. We out early and uh, yeah man, you can see the guys are setting up. Uh, John and Danny and uh, this banana behind me. Hey! <laughs> so uh, yeah guys, early morning. It's uh, just before nine. We're going to get out there. Yesterday we spent about three hours in the bush. Got some awesome finds and uh, yeah, like always, thanks for being here. We'll see you guys in the finds. You guys ready? Let's go. Hey guys, I'm going to love dig this one. <clears throat> I haven't been doing a lot of love digs because, well, there's so many signals in this area that, um, you know, I don't want to waste, um, you know, battery or memory. So if I did have a nice find, I would, uh, you know, oh, try and do it then and whatever. But yeah, because this is a good spot. I'm decided to love dig this car. Is a hard tone. 
low 80s. Be something nice. Be something crazy. What's that? That's a worm. What is that? Okay, well it's not something crazy. Something unusual. Not sure what this, this is, but uh, I found something similar earlier. Okay, cool. Right guys, so we're back out. We had a bit of a break and uh, just flipped this out. Have a look at that. In this black sand. Can you see that? Right over there. It looks like it could be like a buckle of some sort. Very nice, very pretty. That's so cool. It's the back side of it. Very fragile. Yeah, man. Awesome sauce. Right, let's work this area. So, I went over this hole, I was just about to close it. But I went over this hole and I've got another signal right over here. And I kicked it open. He has another part of that uh, buckle or something. So, check it out. It's the other part of it. How cool is that, man? That's why you need to always check your holes. Hey, how crazy. That's the back part of it. Oh, there we are. You can see that's the other piece. So it must have been a belt buckle. Pretty sure of that. That's awesome. Nice Victorian. Very cool. Looks like it has some gold gild. Just wants to come through there. Let me get a close up. You see that? Very nice, man. Okay. So I've got a find over here. Very nice find. John was shouting. You got a ring. I got a ring. <laughs> like deja vu, eh? It's a ring. Is that a ring? It is a ring. Yes, yeah, okay. It's not pretty. So it's your machine is making a noise because of no, this that guy, broken huh? machine there. Yes, you know what? Nice so, one, man. Look at that thing on the back of the Let me show you guys <laughs> what I found. Turn around the lights for little. <laughs> so, got this fine right over here. These, these guys are mad. Hey, go away, fuck off. Got it out, yeah. <laughs> and uh, got an anti signal over here. And check it out. How cool is that? Almost a complete pocket watch. Very cool find. I thought it was uh, going to be silver. That's pretty nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Happy about that. It's got some guild on it and it's quite heavy. Nice man. So round number two. Getting some cool finds. Have a look at this. I just threw this out. I hear John's got a button as well, but just threw this out and uh, put it back on the clump. It looks like it could be a brooch. Yeah, it looks like it has a stone in the center. Check it that. Check it that, man. Hey? Ah, oh, see, I think it is, yeah, it's a brooch, it's broken at the back, <sighs> check it, that, that's the back side, beautiful brooch, whoa, man, that is awesome, it's my favourite find by far, that's great, so, John, Long John, what have you got Long there? John, uh, silver. Huh? It's not silver, but it's just as nice. Check, Check it this. Shoulder it is title. Shoulder title. Man, that is awesome. It looks like it says L I C or C L I C. I don't know. Yeah. That's awesome. Just show the back there, John. Turn it around. Still got the two pins. I'm That's really awesome, man. That. Yeah. You're going to make Kyle jealous. <laughs> eh? Nice one, man. Ooh. Yes, you well done. Love eh? it. Nice fist bump. Nice. Bow. Just flip this. Right over there. Uh, can you see it? 
just see the room there. Looks like a coin. Take it out. Oh, it's not a coin. It's not a coin. Check it out. <laughs> Whoa, it's a pendant. No ways. This is going to be incredible. Looks like the queen in the middle there. Check it out. And it's got a bunch of heads around it. Gazza, don't you want to move with the machine, please, but I'm picking up interference. Check it that. See if I can get closer in there. Whoa, man. How crazy is that? What's on the other side? Looks like the same thing. Man, that is ridiculous. I don't know what that is. Is it the, is it the queen? Is it the king? There's someone else at the back or the front. I don't know. Jeez, man. This is, I've never seen something like this. I have to figure this out. I'll figure it out and uh, I'll let you guys know. This is mad. I thought it was a coin. Awesome, man. Awesome. What's up, guys? So we've got John. He just got something cool. What's up, John? Hey, hey guys. Look Have at a this. look at that. Came through sweet, sweet, sweet. Little whisper. Nice and deep as well, hey? Yeah, solid 84. Investigated. Oh, it's got and a I nice pattern. That, I could hear that chop chop. Check it out, can I take it? Yeah, go for it. Yes, this is a big one. So I got one yesterday. I got a little silver one. But this one is big, man. It's probably one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. That's what I say, it's a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Very cool, man. Love it. Thanks. Yes. Yeah, see. Right, there we First are. one for the weekend for me. Nice one. Uh, Alright, next target. So, I was digging this hole. Got a target, I'm actually going to take it out and uh, I'll show you. It's been a bit slow, but I got this out. Uh, it's like a Victorian something or other decorative piece. Have a look at that. So, very cool. And uh, I thought, oh, maybe it's a brooch or whatever. And like always, I just go over the hole with my uh, detector and uh, I got a faint signal. I thought maybe it was a piece of that. That brooch that broke off, took my pinpointer, started pinpointing, it was on the side wall, dug, 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 eventually took my hand, threw it out, and uh, this popped out. Can you see that? Ooh, right over there. There we are. missed it slightly. See that? Check at that. I haven't seen it. Oh, <laughs> that is cool. So I knew... It was going to be cufflinks, but um, uh, I just saw it has um, a horseshoe on the one. It's probably going to have the same. Yeah, still intact horseshoe uh, cufflinks. Man, that is so cool. Um, but I just have to be careful because it can break. That's awesome, man. Lovely jubbly, lovely jubbly. Man, I popped this, you can see there, it's been quite a while since I've had a decent find, but I threw this out, not sure what it is, <laughs> this is crazy, have a look at that, it's another pendant, this is the back, it looks uh, gilded, but check at the front. Now, I've found one of these in the past, and uh, I thought it was a sovereign holder of some sort. Now, this one, check it out. Can you see that? That's from the side. And uh, this one still has the glass. This is glass in the middle. Still has glass there. Nothing on the inside that I could see. This is absolutely beautiful. Hey, how crazy is that? That is mental. Mental, mental. Nice so one. Happy about that find. Cool. Right, guys, so it's end of day number two, and uh, we're going to do a bit of a wrap up. So I would have showed you our finds of yesterday, so this is just today. And uh, over here, Oh, Long John or Big John, some of his finds uh, like a little template with a 
old English text R or something at the top there, some mystery items, harmonica reeds, um, a nice thimble, beautiful thimble over there with some patterns, a pocket watch, uh, some buttons, he has one of those um, clasps, uh, some coinage, an old one cent, some more mystery items, his buttons over here, um, little gear, probably off a watch. He has a nice little helmet plate from a pith helmet. Um, that's Boer War, which is really nice. Some cartridges over there. Um, a nice little silver spoon. Uh, watch winding key. Uh, 1902 dog license, which is really nice. Over here by my finds. Um, at the top, I've got some Martini Henry cartridges. Some mystery items. Grommet, a lid top. Another little small pocket watch frame. Uh, some clasps and mystery items in the middle there. A random key, not very old at all, which is weird. Um, some of my buttons, some trouser buttons. This is a type of a lead seal over there. Uh, has the number 55. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Some of my better items or finds at the bottom. Nice little button over there. Um, this that looks like a pendant with a piece of glass. Might have had a photo in there. This is a Three Castles uh, cigarettes and little pendant which uh, has the Duchess of York at the back, some cufflinks with the horseshoes, nice little 1900 um, dog tag, uh, which is really nice, some Victorian little brooch as well, printer's plate, uh, some more mystery items over there, and Gary, our favourite, nice little belt uh, buckle over there, another buckle, square nail, that Paris buckle, he found all of these buttons um, with the Victorian crown on all in one hole. There's what two, four, six, eight, yeah, eight or nine of them. Also a little thimble, uh, lead seal, and he's the only one that managed to find a ring for today. So, yeah, man, good day, good weekend, some awesome finds. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as we did. Right, guys, that's the end of this episode. Thanks a lot for joining us. Like always, if you haven't joined Team Zarp, subscribe below. And uh, yeah, to the guys, John. And uh, what's this banana's name again? Uh, Gary and Danny and Chris, our camera guy over there. Thanks a lot. It was awesome. Always uh, lacquer with you guys. And uh, yeah, to you guys. We'll see you guys on uh, the next episode. Take it easy.